Hi, I'm Fabian. I'm a senior security engineer at Edgeless Systems and today I would like to talk to you about confidential virtual machines, why you need them and how they work. So today when you go into the cloud and you deploy your app, um, you usually deploy this inside the context of a tenant in your cloud account. Um, so let's have a look at the threat environment. Uh, so who are the actors that are trying to attack your app or potentially try to attack your app? There's the data center administrator who has direct physical access to the machines and is therefore also able to access your application. You might also have an administrator inside your tenant, for example, someone who manages your cloud subscription, but should not have access to the app. But by having administrator access, they could potentially access your application. And then you also have different tenants that are part of the same cloud and can attack your application from inside the same cloud provider. Additionally, we face additional challenges uh, through policies and regulations, such as GDPR, that force us to take security a lot more seriously when deploying an app with sensitive information. So all in all, when we deploy our app, we have a huge stack of application software, of operating software, the host system, um, plus the hypervisor. And then we also have the data center with software and the engineers. And all of this stack we need to trust to not be malicious and attack our application. So with new processors today, we can use confidential virtual machines. And the creation of a confidential virtual machine begins with a secure processor we have inside the CPU. And we can talk to this secure processor on a secure channel to spawn a confidential virtual machine. This secure channel allows us to even run on a hostile or potentially hostile CPU and create a secure context, a so-called trusted execution environment. As an administrator, I can then request the CVM to generate a so-called attestation report. It's a signed document that states all the software that is running inside that context. And I can take the signed information and fetch a root certificate from the hardware vendor and use these two information to verify this attestation report and be sure that only my software is running in the context. Additionally, the confidential virtual machine is fully encrypted during runtime, so no one outside of this context can read my information. This solves a great deal of problems, but we still have the problems on how to connect multiple of these CVMs together to get a real con computing environment and we also have the problem of wanting to use non-confidential services, such as a cloud load balancer or storage. And we will learn how to do this in an upcoming video.